Hello guys, uh, welcome to another edition of uh, HTTP SSL certificate or oh, I'm doing this video with uh, regard to this first class World Wide Web configure your domain zone so that the subdomain of little point to your load balancer IP okay and the requirement are you add the subdomain to 1b017 to the domain point it to the IP you also do that for web01 point it to the IP I also do that for web02 point it to the IP uh, I've already done the tax as you can see my Airbnb is working so I will just be taking you guys over again how I did it okay so for the rest of the tax there's uh, one of our colleagues on in our court he has done a very good job for the for the last two part the HR proxy as termination and no loops in the website traffic that the SS certificate so as you can see uh, my Airbnb is working is connected to my domain I could Aquatem dot tech. Oh, so in this uh, project, we have been asked. Let me log out. We have been asked to configure our domain so I point to the load balancer server. Which is where the main is the main distributor of the traffic between the W Web two and Web one. So I will just log into my to my server. As you can see, I'm logged on. Okay. So for you to configure the domain zone for a domain and a subdomain, or use this command sudo, you can use another editor of your choice, nano, vim, vi, or emac. You can use any editor that is good for you. So I'll just use nano. Slash etc. Slash host. You press enter, so you can see. I've already configured it, so uh, this is the domain, pointing to the IP address of the load balancer, and this is the subdomain, also pointing to. The IP address of the load balancer. So you copy the IP, you copy this IP of your load balancer. You copy this IP, you paste it, then it's pointed to the to your domain name, okay? You also do it which is the subdomain pointed to ww.aquatem.tech which is one of the requirements that has been asked okay so I will just exit Control X so that is all about uh, the 1B01 that is the load balancer server I will just log out okay I go now to the first server web 01 server I log in. So 
So here, I'm, I'm in already. You do your sudo. Nano. ATC. Slash host. As you can see, it's the same thing I did uh, for the IB. Uh, slash 017 for which is a load balancer is the same thing so this is uh, the web 017 I'll just exit I log out So I'll go down to web 027. I'm in. I clear my screen. So this sudo. Nano. ATC. Plus. Host. Okay, you can see I've not done this one, so I will do it right away. Copy the IP. Them. Dot tech. The subdomain, which is www. W. Dot okay. So to save your file in Nano, just Control O, then Control X, Enter. Okay, then I can just log out. Since I'm done with this part. I'm now in my default terminal. Okay, so for you to see that this domain is being pointed to your IP address. Okay. And it's working. You come to 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 your website. So at this stage, I've already done uh, the deployment. Or uh, there's a video on YouTube. Uh, one of our colleagues he has done a great job. I really appreciate the wonderful work. So if you have not done that, this part. If you have not done. Uh, this assignment, or you still having problem with this assignment, with this project? AM, A, B, and B clone deploy static. Okay, it has a very great role for my website to be like this. Okay. This uh, ABMB clone now it is now connected to my domain name. Okay, first it wasn't working, so I've struggled so that I fix uh, the domain zone and now it's pointed to my IP address. As you can see I've done the HTTPS also uh, because I watched the video of that guy. I'll put his link so that you can follow him and like and share his video.
So you can just go uh, on YouTube or uh, this guy called Opioloa. Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, this this is the guy, and these are all the videos for his work about the HTTPS and the rest of the project. So you will go there, you will learn a lot about deployment or how to deploy the static, okay? So after that, when you come down to this project for today, this project for today, you'll be able now to connect your website and point it to your domain so that it is going to appear like this, okay? So that is all about uh, this project. The first one, uh, the way www.web, where web. web. This is all about the project. So the rest of the project go down to the link of this guy and watch the video. You will be able to solve the problem. So thank you very much for watching. You can just like and subscribe. Thank you.